Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I have a cute little baby card for you today. We're going to use a couple of different bits and pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is make myself my own little stencil. I'm using the nesting rectangles, the Australian size. And I'm going to just die cut a little rectangle out of a thin piece of acetate. It's not terribly thick. Place that down. I'm just using a matte, silicone matte, and he's going to make it nice and easy to blend. I'm using some lilac ink just to give a very soft little rectangle of a background. Now, a lot of my design is actually going to be above so this is sort of going to give it an elongated look we're going to go in with a um, monkey now there's no images on this but yours will have that i'm just placing him where i want because i originally sort of decided that i'll just keep within that rectangle but full disclosure i decided to add the balloons and wanted him just a little bit more a little bit more higher should we say so I've stamped him down twice. Now I've got the balloons and this is out of the Bush Babies accessory pack. We're going to use a few bits and pieces out of that set today. I'm going to stamp three balloons. One of those balloons I'm only stamping the string because this is what I do just to cut down on the fiddly little bits and pieces. I don't tend to mostly I don't tend to cut out things like um, antennas birds feet when it's just some lines I will just draw those in or I'll make him sit down so in this sort of situation I am not sure whether there's any coordinating dies with these but that would do brilliantly as well uh, there's coordinating dies with the bush babies but in this situation I don't have those so this is what I'm going to do. I've got V17, V15 and V12 with my Copic markers and we're just going to colour him in. The monkey I'm going to colour his arms and legs on the panel that has the stars but the rest of it we're going to colour him on this. So we've got E19, E37, E99 and E97. I'm just going to colour his legs with that darkest colour and his arms. He's not, well not really his legs, it's his tail and his arms on that background. What this is going to do when we cut out this little guy, it's also going to help with dimension and give it a little bit more depth to our card so it's really the arm just the face the body the the main torso part of our little guy that we're coloring in here just going through and coloring darkest to lightest keeping his nose trying to keep his nose as light as i can like the top of his nose his eyes and that panel there around his eyes is going to be i'm going to keep him a little bit lighter but i'm still going to use the same colors so yeah, keep away from the darker colours for his, just his face. So we've got E99 and we've just coloured him in nicely. So our reds here on our card base are R89, R85 and R83. This is not Copic friendly card, but I did that because... I thought it would give a nice different sort of texture to our balloons. It's not going to be nice and smooth. I just thought that was going to be a fun little texture to our card. I am keeping sort of the center highlight, or what should I say, the top right hand highlight. I'm also keeping around the edges to have a little bit of a, sh not a shadow, but a light, lighter around the edges. That's going to give it a little bit more depth again and a little bit that it's a little it's quite rounded. So the last little balloon that we've got are YR07, YR04 and O2 and I'm going to do the same thing. 
Now, if you really weren't keen on the strong highlight, you could go over that with your lightest color just at the very end, just to give it a light coating of that lightest color. And honestly, I went over my lines a little bit, full disclosure. You are going to see that on the card, my string that my monkey is hanging off is not going to go all the way to the balloons and be hidden away. I'll fix that. It's okay. You won't see that, but you'll see that over in the photos at the end. I've got a little, it's a girl. This is out of the same Bush Babies accessories. It's, it's a girl. And on top of that, we're going to mount up all our images because then that's going to give, help give us a little depth. I need to extend my string just a tiny bit. And I still haven't picked up that I, at this point, that I have a string that is just stopping. So yeah, he's a little, his arms and his tails are going to be in the background. So it's going to need a little bit more depth. So I've got a dragonfly out of the Bush Babies accessory pack. And we're going to stamp him. I'm just trying to figure out where the best is to put him. I'm going to color him with the two lighter reds. So the R85 and R83. Just a tiny bit. It's, it's, I'm not even going to go over it twice. A little bit of stickles on the butterfly, on the dragonfly and just dotted here and there. I've got a little bit of grey cardstock just to... I just added my stash, sorry. Just added my stash and I'm going to trim him down. I quite often just eyeball my images so I can't tell you how much. Generally speaking, I know that this first panel is going to be 14.1 by 9.7 centimetres. The card base, the grey panel is probably going to be about 10 centimetres by... 14.4 I've got a sentiment simple simple script sentiment and we've just stamped congratulations with him and to finish him off we've got a little bit of crystal drops because a card wouldn't be my card if it didn't have a crystal drop somewhere you know let's be honest here and that's going to help fill up that area and make it a little bit more connected that's it you will, in the photos, you'll see me that the line is joined up with a little monkey because it sort of evolved from where I originally thought I was going to go. But that's all good. It's all good. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. I will, yeah, I'll put those all in. That is my card for today. I hope you're well. If you liked this card, liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. And we'll talk to you soon.